Fig Travel Channel offers travel video guides for more than 20 cities in Asia, US, and Canada. If you like our travel videos, subscribe to this channel to see more. Welcome to Hip Figs Video Guide Series on Chicago. In this video, we'll be showing you the Art Institute of Chicago. We'll show you how to get there by public transportation and suggest some things to see while you're there on your visit. The Art Institute of Chicago is located in the center of downtown Chicago. The museum offers two entrances. The historical building at 111 South Michigan Avenue and the modern wing at 159 East Monroe Street. To get to the Art Institute by the L train, take the brown, green, orange, pink, or purple line and exit at Adams Wabash Stop. Then walk one block west to the museum. You can also take the red or blue L train and exit at Monroe Stop and walk a few blocks to the museum. If you're coming by Metra, the Chicago commuter rail system, exit at Van Buren or Millennium Station and walk about two blocks to the museum along Michigan Avenue. All options for directions are on the museum's website. The Art Institute is open daily from 10.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Thursday closed at 8 p.m. The Art Institute is closed on Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Day. As previously stated, there are two entrances to the Art Institute. If you're already at Millennium Park and visiting the Bean like us, then take the Modern Wing entrance at 159 East Monroe Street to get into the Art Institute. The cost of a ticket will depend on the options that you choose. You can purchase tickets at the ticket counter when you arrive or purchase your tickets online to save time during your visit. For a discount, if you're planning to attend three or more attractions in the Chicago area, consider buying a City Pass by Smart Destinations. Entrance is free for kids under the age of 14. For more detailed information for the Art Institute's hour of operation and ticket prices, go to their visit page at their website. The Art Institute has almost a million square feet of artwork spanning from in the ancient world to modern times. On your visit, don't miss the European Painting and Sculpture Collection. The Art Institute's collection is considered one of the finest in the world with more than 3,500 works dating from the 12th through 20th century, including works by Vincent van Gogh, Alfred Sisley, Claude Monet, Paul Gauguin, and many, many more. The American collection includes work by John Singer Sargent, James McNeil Whistler, Mary Cassatt, and Winslow Homer. Modernist work, which includes Grant Wood, Georgia O'Keeffe, Edward Hopper, and the Mexican muralist Diego Rivera. You can download maps, guides, and apps to help you navigate and explore the museum during your visit. The Art Institute is a gold mine of all sorts of paintings, photography, textiles, sculptures, and other artistic work. This is a must do for anyone who appreciates art. The Art Institute will take two or more hours depending on your interest combined with attractions in Millennium Park like the Crown Fountain, Cloud Gate, or the Bean, and Buckingham Fountain. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.